we will calibrate the pH meter using two buffer solutions. First is 4.01 and second is 6.86. You can buy this online but I would recommend checking nearby shops. Each packet is mixed in 250 milliliters 0 ppm distilled water. We will dip the meter in the first buffer solution. It's showing 5.9 after a few seconds. The screwdriver goes here, and you need to rotate the screw left or right depending on whether you want to increase or decrease the value. Redip the meter with the screwdriver connected at the back. As you can see I have stopped rotating the screwdriver as soon as the meter shows 4.0. Lastly we'll calibrate the meter with a 6.86 buffer solution. Rotate the screwdriver till you get a reading of 6.86. Now we will recheck if the calibration is successful. Clean the pH meter with distilled water and dry with a tissue paper. Redip the meter and wait for a few seconds. The reading is accurate, 4.0. Let's check 6.86 as well. The reading is correct and that is how you calibrate a pH meter. A very important tip. Whenever you are immersing the meter make sure you don't immerse above this point. It has to be below this. You can buy the pH meter from the link in the description. If you have watched till here, then please do like, share and subscribe. We will check pH of some of the most common liquids available around us. A point here and there is not a major problem for home growers. First we'll check the pH of mineral water. The pH is around 7.1 or 7.2. Second we'll check pH of coke. It is around 2.5 to 2.6. Third we'll check pH of tap water. It is between 6.5 to 7.5. It's a foolproof way to ensure successful calibration. In the next video, we will see how to calibrate a semi-automatic pH meter in under 4 minutes.